If you want to transfer domain name at cheaper price and have the free premium DNS feature, then this is the right video for you. Yes, you heard me correctly, premium DNS. So you can see on Namecheap, I'm paying around $13 per year to renew my domain name and to have premium DNS, I'm going to pay 4 euros 44 cents extra. And on GoDaddy, it's even crazy. I paid $20 to renew my domain name and for premium DNS, I'm going to pay $35 extra. And you can see total is $55.87. And I used to book my domain with Namecheap, which is still a very good option. If you are booking a domain the first time for one year, you can have very good discount. But when you renew your domain names, Namecheap is not the best. And this premium DNS plays a big role on your website loading speed. Because when you have premium DNS, your website loads faster. So if somebody opens your website and you have premium DNS, your website resolves much fast and loads very fast. So I'm going to show you step by step how to transfer this domain name from any registrar to Google domains. Google domain is much cheaper. You pay around $12 per year and plus you get free premium DNS. So what you need to do now is no matter from which register you want to transfer, process is same. I'm going to show you the process for Namecheap and GoDaddy, but it is same for any provider. Just follow this step by step guide and you will be able to transfer domain name to Google domains and have free premium DNS and much cheaper renewal rates. So you need to go to domains.google or I will add the link in description and then you will find this option if you want to book a new domain name. But we'll use this option, transfer a domain name you already own. So click on this option and now enter your domain name which you want to transfer and then hit enter. Then you'll see this message that you're going to transfer this domain name to Google domains. So it's going to cost me 12 euros. It will be almost same in dollars also or in currency of a local country. And then what you need to do is because you can see the message here, this domain name is locked. In your case, your domain will be locked from your previous registrar. I'm going to show you how you can unlock it. And then step two will be to enter authorization code from the current registrar. I'm also going to show you how you can get this authorization code from the current registrar. So let's go to step one, which is to unlock the domain name. So if you want to transfer domain name from Namecheap to Google domains, log into your Namecheap account and then click this arrow and click on manage. And now you need to click here on sharing and transfer. And guys, it is really important you watch this video until the end because I have a very important tip in the end of this video. So in sharing and transfer page, you will see when you scroll the page, you will see this option transfer out and here you can see domain lock is on. So what we need to do first is to unlock the domain name and then second thing is to get the auth code. So I click on unlock domain name. So now my domain name is unlocked. If I go back to Google domains and if I refresh, you can see now step one is saying your domain name is unlocked and ready to transfer. So this is the only second thing which is to get the authorization code. So I'll go back to my Namecheap account and click on auth code and then they will ask you why are you transferring your domain out of Namecheap. Now select the option, I'll say pricing and then I click on send code and in your email you will get this authorization code, copy this code and then paste it here on Google domains and then click on continue. Let me quickly show you how you can do the same thing on GoDaddy. Log in into your GoDaddy account and choose the domain which you want to transfer and then click on here view domain settings and then you will find this option transfer. You can see domain lock is on. So click on off, they'll ask you your confirmation if you want to unlock the domain name, click on continue and then you need to click here transfer to another registrar and then click on continue transfer and then you'll see the option click here to see authorization code. Click on this button and then you can copy this confirmation code and then you can paste this code here on Google domains. So now you understand how to unlock the domain name and how to get the authorization code. The same procedure you can do with any domain registrar. No matter what is your current registrar, you can use this process to unlock your domain name and get the authorization code. So once you get the code, then you click on continue and then you will see this option import web settings. I highly recommend you because there are a lot of settings on your domain name and Google will import all of them directly. So leave this option checked and then click on continue and then you can see there's a free privacy protection is on and then you click on proceed to check out. Enter all the information here and then save and continue. And now you can pay by using a credit or debit card or you can pay by PayPal. And if you got a promo code, you can add the promo code here to get discount. Check the description of this video. If I'll see a promo code, I'll add in the description of this video so you can save even more money. And then click on purchase and subscribe. Once you finish the payment process, you'll see pending domains and then you can see transfer in progress. And depending on which registrar you use, sometimes you get direct email and you can approve this transfer. And sometimes there's inbuilt option in their account to approve this transfer. And guys, it is important when you're transferring a domain name, because it might take some days. So you can see it says it's going to take around six days to complete this transfer. So if your domain is about to expire, this process can be complete for you. But normally it happens much sooner. So make sure you have enough time to transfer domain name.
Okay, so now you will receive some instruction from Namecheap or your other domain provider if you are moving this domain name away from them. In the case of Namecheap, I received this email. They say domain let's get your website.com transfer confirmation request. And they say if you want to proceed to transfer, you do not need to do anything. If you want to speed up process transfer, please go to website. If you want to cancel transfer, please go to website. So I'll just click this link if you want to speed up the transfer. And here you can see I'll approve this transfer and then approve complete successfully. And guys, if you're getting some value out of this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I create this unique, amazing content which you will not find easily on YouTube. And subscribing is free and that will really make me happy and I'll know that you guys are liking my videos and you're learning something new and improving your skills. If I go back to my Google Domains account and guys, your Google Domain accounts, you can log in with your existing Gmail or Google account. And now you can see here, domain is under the my domains list. Transfer is done, but I still need to verify my email account. So you must receive email from Google. If you haven't received email, you can click here, recent verification email. So you will receive email something like this. Click on verify email now. You can see this is now under my domains now. So transfer has been completed. It took me like a few minutes to transfer domain name. I get free premium DNS just for 12 euros a year, where I was paying like $55 for with GoDaddy. And now if you see here, I can click on manage. So this is my domain panel looks like it will renew on 2nd of May and then the multiple option get online with Google. If you want workspace, I'll skip for now. Then create a website, I'll skip for now because I already have a website. I just need to point my domain to my hosting and then stand out of the Google search and maps, I'll skip for now and then reach new customer Google Ads, I'll skip for now. And then you can see my domain services. They have 110 impressions, the 14 clicks, every portion is 15. There are so many data about your domain name. You can click here, view full reports. And then you can see all this data from where this impression were coming from. And this all data is coming from Google Search Console, not from Google Domains. They are using Google Search Console account to get this data. And then this is important option, use custom name server for your domain. I already created a step-by-step -step tutorial for this. So I highly recommend you to check that video because now you need to connect your domain to your hosting. So check out that video in the description. And then you can see this domain renew at 12 euros per year. For you, it's going to be $12 or depending on your currency, it's going to be much, much cheaper option than name cheat or GoDaddy or any other provider with premium DNS. And guys like Google Domains, Cloudflare Domains is also another very good option that is even cheaper than Google Domains. But you can go with any of these Google Domains or Cloudflare. I created another video where I explain how we can book premium DNS at $9 per year with Cloudflare Domains. You can check this video on screen. And guys, if you're getting some value out of this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I create this unique, amazing content which you will not find easily on YouTube. And subscribing is free and that will really make me happy and I will know that you guys are liking my videos and you are learning something new and improving your skills.